Right then guys, the little Nova just arrived earlier on. Spent most of its life in one, with one family, from what um, was just been said. Mileage there, a very low, very nice 30,000 there, 30,500 on the speedometer. You know where we are with mileages, so you've just got to use your common sense. Common sense, i.e. look, there is no wear on that seat. There is no wear on the carpets. There's no wear on the pedals. There's still the grain on the steering wheel. There's no wear on the gear knob. No wear on the handbrake. No wear on any of the dials. So, there you are. Something's telling me that that could be right. Proper period radio in. Lovely inside. Cracking little car in there. Mats in there, jack in there, wheel brace in there in the original little folders, holders even. Tire, wheel look, I don't know, wheel look like, wheel, yeah, wheel's been on, but tire's brand new. Boot floor is as shiny as the bonnet, that's nice. Maple Garage, obviously, well-known Vauxhall agent for many, many years. Maple Garage on the front number plate. Maple garage on the back, maple garage window stickers. There she is, a right little cracker inside there. Nice in the engine compartment. That had all steam clean up lovely. And still got the uh, factory gold lacquer. Which if you're just careful with that, you'll be able to get that excess grease that always comes off through the rocker cover top there. Get that bit of grease off. Don't go too hard, maybe do it on cold. Get the oil off, that extra bit of oil, and leave the lacquer on is my advice uh there you go but nice in there spot on i've taken photographs of your your two plaques and things there as well i've taken loads of photographs in all fairness all around i will just fire it up for you not there's a great deal of need because she's a little there she is little sweetie what a little sweetie. I'm building up to the downside. And that is the fact you're going to have to paint it. You are, unfortunately, because there's an imperfection on every panel. There's a little bit there around the indicator, around the wheel arch there. Door bottom's real good. Look, hardly anything on there. A little bit of surface rough there. A little bit down the seals. Just starting around the rear arches, as they often do. Tailgate, I think you get away with. Roof, I think you get away with. So you'd end up losing it up here, wouldn't you? End up losing it up the C post, losing it up the A post. The good thing about it is, you're not following anyone else. No one else has tried to make it anything it's not. You're the first man there. And it's blue, and it's a solid color, and it's easy. So apart from a little bit of cutting out on the uh, rear arches there, the rest of it looks to be just surface stuff. But the little car warrants it, doesn't it? It's such a lovely, sweet little car. Lovely original little car, down to the number plates and the rear window stickers and the mileage and everything else that goes with it. So, and it's, it's not a big car, is it? Let's face it, most of the car, all you'll do is scotch bright off, won't you? You'll do these little repairs, keep them local, and the rest of it, you'll just mask up and scotch off. And it wants, you know, Three coats on the repairs, a couple of coats everywhere else, then you'll have a hell of a lovely little car. So I think that's that really is an easy and a car that deserves that little bit of TLC now. Marv, what are you doing? Come away from the car. Anyway, there you are, guys. Cracking little Nova. I know it's a shame it doesn't say SR on it or GTE. But then that would take it out of most people's price range, wouldn't it? That would take it up to the... If that was an SROG, that would be 12 grand, wouldn't it? You know, definitely 10 in that condition. In fact, no, it would be more. It'd be 12 to 14 with that mileage on. So it's an affordable little Nova. Sweet little car. It wants what you see. Nice and genuine.